stag right there. But can I do it? Okay. Oh, I didn't make you bleed out. I was, I was, I was hoping I was going to kill it. Okay, never mind. Fine. Well, I tried, well, I, I got, I got, a, I got a shot in his ass, so that's that's pretty good. So let's get out of here. Man, I, I should I should have tried to blow the stag. I should have tried to blow the stag with the rocket launcher. That was hilarious. It's like, oh, there's a stag. This is how you hunt. <laughs> oh man, actually, I'm, you know what? I might have to try that at some point. Just 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 for giggles. I think it'd be funny. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 modded with Fennec Mod 1.1. We are now on episode 33, guys. So in the last episode, we had a bit of a uh, a bit of a visit back here, and uh, we did a few things around the area, and we finally got ourselves the cement mixes here, which is really good. And actually, uh, I've actually put some stuff in there now uh, with some of the cement that I managed to buy from the traders in the last episode as well. And we're now going ahead and actually producing up some concrete mix, guys, which is really really cool. So uh, there's a couple of uh, a couple of things here. I just want to just make sure I've got all these. Yeah, I do. Um, so, um, one thing I want to do in this episode, guys, is we have all these treasure maps, right? We have a lot of treasure maps, and I want to go ahead and see if we can... I thought I thought it might be fun today just to have a bit of a treasure hunting episode. Get all these treasure maps out of the way, um, because we could be able to... We should be able to get a load of ammo from these treasure maps, which should hopefully help us better prepare for Horde Knight. I mean, in terms of ammo that we have already, I mean... Yeah, we, we've, we've got a lot, right? So we, we do have a lot of ammo already. And we got like a couple of AKs and everything. We got like loads of shotgun shells. But I was thinking, um, the, the stuff that I'm kind of trying to do is I could build up the horde base more with some of the concrete I have. But I think now that I know how to make my own concrete, I want to actually move out of this area eventually and find my own place to go ahead and build it. We also got the working oven set up in the last episode as well. As you can see, we now have uh, some vegetable shoes, which I wanted to get as well, because uh, hopefully with this, we can finally get the uh, the veggies, uh, the veggies buff as well, uh, which will give us all five of our buffs which would be really really good if we can uh although i don't know if we're gonna be able to get that one it's, it's just gonna kind of i think it's just gonna depend but we seem to be doing pretty well on the uh on the food side of things at the moment so i'm very very happy with that so yeah i think what i wanted to do then is go ahead and read some of these treasure maps and see if we can just go and find the treasure right so we can go ahead and see where it is now now i've already read two maps um we have there's two treasures here over here um, I think there's actually three around us. Yeah, there's three. So which ones can we read? I kind of want to, like, get everything into, like, a radius um, around where we are. Because we, we obviously read them, like, over here. So there's Taylor's one. Uh, we've read Claw's one. We haven't read Sarah's one. So let's read that one. And we have already read... Uh, oh, no, we haven't read uh, Stefan's treasure map either. There you go. So we're going to read all those treasure maps there. Just so that we can go ahead and... Uh, oh, this. Hang on. We did, we did just read Sarah's, didn't we? Hang on. Do we just read Sarah's? I swear we, I swear we did. There should, there should be more treasure around here now. But yeah, now we should find that there is just like loads of treasure points around the area. See, so yeah, now, now we've read those. It's like we can kind of go in a bit of an order here, right? So it seems that there is, there's one here by. Um, it looks like there's one kind of near our mining outpost actually. Yeah, our mining outpost over here. There's one near our mining outpost here. We have two in this town. We can then circle around over here to the one down here, and then finally we can go to the one which looks like it's actually in the water. So yeah, it seems that there is, uh, there is. Quite Quite a few treasures so i definitely okay let's just read sarah's treasure map see if that gives us a sixth one as well let's read that one as well um i don't know if that actually did anything i have a feeling it i have a feeling it didn't actually i'm not seeing oh no oh no no, no. Did, did wait did it no did i think we just oh no no there's there's one over here as well so actually there's yeah there's there's a few treasure maps that we can go to um and on the way we can probably go ahead and make our way to like the traders and stuff as well which could be really good but yeah i thought we'd go for the treasure maps just because we have a lot of them and we can get a lot of ammo from them and you know sometimes it's quite nice just to have a bit of a laid back episode so yeah treasure hunting is not really like uh not really focused too much on building but yeah i've decided that in terms of like the building stuff i want to wait until after this next horde and then actually build somewhere i, I want to find somewhere proper to build right so um i want to go ahead and see if we can build, you know, build somewhere properly, and uh, we can start our own base rather than have to use a POI. Because you know what POI is like, you know, sleeper respawns, all that stuff. We won't have to worry about that if we just go ahead and build our very own base instead, which is going to be, I think, much much better. So that's kind of what I want to focus on. Uh, let's just go and make sure I'm heading to the right, uh, the right thing over here. So yeah, it's, uh, it's essentially if I, oh, I hit my, uh, hit my bike with, I, I hit Gloria with a shovel. Sorry, Gloria, but you know that's, uh, that's what you get. That's what you get for. Uh, as we get for like carrying me everywhere all my loot yeah that's, that's what you get um so yeah we're gonna go over this way and see if we can uncover the treasure now so this is on like some hills and stuff and there's a snake that i don't really want to deal with so some of these uh maybe like on hills and stuff but we're gonna go and see if we can find it um and see exactly where it is now because we're not the hunter class we can only get uh treasure hunter number one rather than uh two or three so that that is the thing 
but that doesn't matter. We can go ahead and just do it anyway. So, okay, it's right here. All right, so it looks like we figured out where it is. So let's go ahead and align ourselves to... So this is how I hunt... Because you guys ask how I tend to hunt for treasure. What I tend to do is align the map. Uh, I align the treasure map to the east. Like that. Ooh, we got a... Uh, we have company, I think. Okay. Where's he going? Okay, he's just... Oh, yeah, bugger. Okay. He's flying right past... I'm trying to... Oh, Vulture, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hunt for treasure. Right, come on. Come, come straight towards me. I'll, I'll finish you off. There we go. Oh, yeah, bugger. Okay, he's gone away. I can't get him with the shovel. See, bugger. I want to... I want to kill you! Right, there you are. There you go. Finally got that guy. Right, there we go. We got him out of the way. Let's actually harvest his feathers while we're here. There you go. Get me those. Uh, I guess it's 57. That's not bad. Okay, anyway. Before we are so rudely interrupted by that stupid bird, let's go and see if we can uh, figure out where we are. So, we align ourselves with the east. There you go. So, we align ourselves with the east there. And... Then we can do this, and then we're going to go ahead and pretty much dig along here. And we're going to keep going until... So this is, how, this is how I do it. So I kind of align myself east and west. It's not always necessary to do this, and sometimes you can like approximate with frames and stuff, which is another very valid method to uh, dig the treasure out. But this is kind of how I do it. I kind of align myself with like the east-west, and I will keep going until the, the map stops flashing. So you can see currently still flashing, still flashing, still flashing. So we're going to keep going until it stops. So it's still a bit of a hill. There you go. So it starts right here. Are we hunted? Uh, yes, we are. We're hunted by something. Uh, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig backwards and try and get this all like to a certain level. So let's try and get this all level. Which should be handy. And you never know. We might actually find it in this little section here. Right, so there's a zombie after me at the moment. But we're just going to let him come to us. Right, where are you? Hello? Hello? Is it a crawler or something? Hang on. He still sees me. Who's, who's, who's coming towards me? I... I there's someone here. Someone's here. I, there you are. Right. So I'm trying to hunt for treasure. So it's, it's always when I'm hunting for treasure, there's there's always one little bugger that's after me, isn't there? Always one. Just has to be this one little one little bugger that wants to come and ruin my fun. But yeah, let's go ahead and do. We're gonna go ahead and essentially even this out. Now we might actually find the treasure on this line. We might do. We might not. But this is kind of how I do it. So the first thing I do is kind of make like an X. Uh, and this is like the first, uh, this is like the first line of that X, right? So we're going to go ahead and do this. And we can do that. There we go. So we've got the line of the X like that. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same. But we're going to do it like with the north-south line. So we just done it for east-west. So now we're going to do the same for north-south. So we're going to come back out, align it with the south, and then come back in and make sure we're digging south. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and essentially just do exactly the same as what we just did, but we're going to dig along this way instead. Um, and this should give us an area where the treasure is going to be in, right? So this should give us, like, pretty much a general approximation of where it is. Um, and that's very, believe it or not, that's very, very handy because then usually the treasure is more towards the center of the X. Sometimes it's not, sometimes it's more on the outside, but usually it's more towards the center of the X that you dig out. So that's, that's pretty good, so... So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Um, so now we're pretty much at the point where we can start like doing this out. I mean, I wish I had an auger. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some stuff from the traders to build our own auger, because that'd be really good. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and kind of just even the sex out here. And we're going to make it like, we're going to make it one level, right? So we're going to do that, make it one level. And from here, is where we're going to go ahead and start digging. So the treasure should be, the, the center of the radius should be around here somewhere. So essentially what we've got to do is kind of like just dig around here a little bit. And we're just going to like start digging it out and hopefully we shall find a treasure. Hopefully, we'll see. So if I don't find it in like a quick amount of time, then of course I will go ahead and just cut out until I do find it. But we're going to go ahead and just try and take out these corners here until we get lucky and uncover the thing. Because uh, it's going to be here somewhere. Like it's got to be, it's got to be here somewhere, right? So let's go ahead and do that one. Oh, okay. Don't let that uh, don't let the dirt fall on my head. That's uh, that kind of hurts. Yeah, we don't want that. Dirt falling on our face is not what we want. You know that that happens sometimes. So it's, it's it's not good. It's never good. But let's go ahead and uh, grab these guys. And we can do this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, back away. Okay. So it doesn't look like it's over here. So sometimes the treasure is not in these quadrants, and you know we have to take further out. But hopefully we're not going to do. Hopefully we're not we're not going to do a rivaline. <laughs> and yes, doing a rivaline is a thing. I'm sorry, rivaline. It's do it's do it it's do it it's do it. Doing that is a thing. But it looks like I'm it looks like I'm pretty much doing a rivaline right now, doesn't it? Like just getting all this uh, getting all this treasure. Right. Let's go and see if I can just take this out and see if we can. 
I guess make it collapse down. And we'll see. Because once you like dig some of this area out, it should kind of give us a bit of an idea where we need to expand outwards. So yeah, we'll go ahead and collapse this all down. It could be that it's just in this last corner that we're looking in, so... But the factory grade, uh, this factory grade shovel is like uh, one-shotting like the dirt without me having to power attack it, which is really good, and, and at minimum stamina as well. So you can see just how good the shovel actually is. Like it's it's a bee it's a bee shovel. It's really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and dig this out. Right, so it still doesn't look like it's here. Still doesn't look like it's here. So it's gonna be here somewhere. Um, oh, hang on, hang on, wait. Was that? Oh no, that was that. That was too. That was too dark. Okay, but this is kind of how I do it. But it looks like the treasure is not currently in the area. Hmm. But yeah, I think I, was, I think I've taken a long enough time digging. So what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, oh no, wait, 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 is that it? Is that it? There it is. We found it. Hooray! What do we have in here? We had SMG parts. We had oh, look at that. We had some shotgun shells, some logo ones, some raw fading. We can sell it. We have some old cash, gold, silver, and diamonds. Look at that. That is awesome. So we finally managed to get that treasure. So yeah, it takes a little bit of time to do it this way, but that's kind of how that's kind of how I go about it. So yeah, that's the first one out of the way. Um, so now we got that one out of the way. Let's have a little look and see. Okay, I think I want to make my way then to... Yeah, we're here. So I want to make my way to this one up here. So it's pretty much like pretty much like north, right? So we're going to head pretty much over the... Here we go, yes. Yeah, so we're going to head over this way. And we're going to make our way to the next one. So let's go ahead and make our way along this road. Um, we're not going to go to our mining office. We're, we're close to our mining office, but we're not you know, quite there. But it's up at, there's, there's two treasures actually up in this little town. Now, I find that treasures in towns sometimes are good and sometimes are bad. Like, because if you have to dig under asphalt, then things can get a little bit tricky, right? So, sometimes they're great, and sometimes it's just like, uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a pain to try and get them. But it kind of depends, like, how close they are to a building as well. Like, the proximity to the building which they are. But, there you go. Let's go ahead and just drop down here. And let's make our way into... Here, okay, so it looks like, okay, yeah, this this one looks like a bit of a bugger because as you can see, it's under the asphalt, right? So this is uh this this one is under the asphalt. So what we're gonna do in this case, I do stuff a little bit differently. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna still do a north-south line, but we're not gonna bother with an east-west line, right? So we're gonna we're gonna try that. So let's line it up so that it's north. Okay, north is that way. Okay, back away. Let's try and get this line. Okay, so north is this way. So the second treasure is pretty much like down here somewhere. So we're going to kind of like dig a line and then we're going to dig another line. And then of course the third one. And we're going to start making our way under the asphalt. Because what I don't want to do is like destroy the road. Because I still want to like, you know, ride my bike along it. But we're just going to go ahead and dig under like this. And we're going to see. You know, you never know. We might get lucky and just like bump straight into it. If we do, that's going to be awesome. But we shall see. So let's go ahead and make our way straight through here. And we're going to keep digging until we find... where this ends and then what we can do from that point is i mean i could do an east west line i could like mark it once and then kind of dig under east west um, and then i guess just fill in the block with some dirt or something which actually might be a good idea because that'll help me at least find that help me at least find where the thing is right so let's go ahead and just dig along here now this one hopefully won't take as long because like you know we are we're not on a hill usually i find that ones on hills take longer to find but ones like not on hills are, are not so bad usually but Okay, there we go. So that's where that one ends. Right, excellent. So now we know where that one ends. Let's go ahead and do. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we will do we will do it we will do an east first line. We'll do it, we'll do the same. But I'm gonna mark. I'm just gonna like dig straight down on the asphalt. So south is like there. So let's go kind of inch forwards. Okay. So the uh, the point I need to dig into the asphalt is right there, kind of thing. Right. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna dig down here. Uh, oh, does a zombie see me? Hello. I heard, I heard some. Oh, there you are. You're over here. What are you doing, Mr. Man? Come on, then. right. Oh, yes! Off comes the base. Man, a little bit of lag there, but off, off comes the head. Nice. Right, is that it? Was that the only one that saw me? Yeah, he was the only one that saw me. Hang on, what's that up there? This looks like there's a building up there or something. Yeah, there's, there's some kind of building up there. I'm not sure what it is, so. Um, right, so where, where, where was the small incision of the time made in the ground? Hmm? Let me see. Okay, it's, it's, it must have been back there. See, so, so you may. Maybe. Do, <laughs> I lost my hole! Right, there we go. So we can go this way, and then. We can just dig straight along this way. So we'll dig straight along here. But then... Once we've done that, we can go ahead and hopefully meet up with the middle of this. And then that'll give us an idea where we've got to be digging to. There it goes. So now we're in the middle. So you get a little bit more this way. 
Okay, it was uh, was that no? That's that's just going down. I thought I thought I found it. I was like, oh, hang on. I was like, ooh. I was like, yay. And I was like, ah. You know when you you, know, you start and you're like, yay, and you get disappointed. You're like, ah. Yeah, it's, it's it's one of those. Right. So let's go ahead and just dig this out here. So I think this will actually be far enough. I mean, I don't think the treasure could be much further beyond that. So let's go ahead and essentially we're gonna do is do exactly the same again. Can, like dig out the corners just to see if we can find the thing. Uh, but this time, like, things shouldn't collapse on us, hopefully, because we've got, like, we got asphalt as well, which is kind of supporting a lot more of the weight. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that asphalt does not fall on my head, because that, that would hurt. Uh, that might actually kill me, actually, if the if the, that did fall on my head. So hopefully it's not going to, but we, uh, that, that remains to be seen, right? So let's go ahead and just dig this out and see if we can find a second one. Okay. So second one is it? I mean, once we get high level treasure hunter, like we we'll have to unlock the hunter class, which you know requires completing our main classes. But once we do, we should be able to find what we need. But let's have a look in here. Anything? Any treasure? Anything at all? Anyone? Hello? Anybody? Anybody? No? No treasure? No treasure? You say? Ah! But I be pirate fox and I want to be treasure. It's gonna be full of doubloons. Actually, it's probably going to be for, like, casino coins, random gun parts, and jewellery and things. But, you know, just, you, you know what I mean. Right. Let's go ahead and keep going this way. Right. So we'll dig out this one. Looks like I'm not really I'm not really having too much luck at finding any. The, like, the treasure is taking... It seems to be taking a bit longer today. I hope the other one's not under asphalt as well. Um, okay, let's see. It's... Let's see. Right. Let's go this way. Um... Um, right, so that's not seeming like it's anyway. So now what we're going to do is kind of start trying to dig out the sides here just to see, just see if we can discover where this thing is. Because it's, it shouldn't be much further along than this. Like, oh no, it's right there. There it is. There it is. I totally missed it. Yay. There we go. 70 note fragments. We got a rocket launcher, a, a really good sniper rifle and some 7.62s. Oh, look at that. Nice. There we go. Finally, finally found it. Oh, and, some, and four rockets. I didn't even see those. Okay, so we, we did actually find it. Hey, there we go. I was, uh, okay, so it looks like there's only like one block down, which is not bad, right? Can I make a quick... Uh, right, let me drop that. Can I make a quick um, ground block? I want one of those. So a quick ground block. Uh, Burnt Forest Ground, yeah, let's do that. Because um, that'll do just, just to like fill in this. It, it doesn't really matter what kind of ground it is. Uh, but just to kind of fill in this part of the road so I don't like fall into it on the bike. Because that would just, just be sucky. So where is the... Where is the hole? There you are. Put you in. Excellent. So there is the next treasure all done. And uh, it looks like we have some company. It's a it is it is it is it's an Edgar. Hello Edgar. Goodbye, Edgar. <laughs> right, so let's go and find the next one. So the next one is really close by as well. So next one is literally just up here. So Okay, here we go. Yeah, this this one's not even on the uh, on the asphalt there. Okay. So that's good. So this is not even an asphalt. However, Oh, however, however, it's in near a building. Okay, this is going to be, this one's going to be just as complex to do. Um, yeah, because the north-south the north -south line is pretty much right on this. Uh, how, where's the east-west line? Is that the same? No, the east-west line is slightly out, so it should be, with any luck, it should be just, like, here somewhere along this line. Okay. So what we'll do then is we'll dig along here, and we'll start, we'll start with this bit. And we'll see if it's here. So hopefully we'll find it, but you never know. But yeah, lots and lots of digging. I, it kind of makes me wish though, that some of the treasure was in the desert, because then I get sand, and then I can make more concrete mix, which is kind of kind of would be a nice thing. But then again, it's like it's okay. Right, so that's what we got there, and then we have to do the the other line, which is like I think the north south line is like here. Oh no, it's a bit over. So north south line is like there. So it's kind of from this point. Okay, this is really weird. Like this one's not really centered. It's kind of like. It kind of feels like it's slightly off center. But let's go ahead and dig it out anyway. We'll dig it out anyway and we'll see what we get. So yeah, this is uh this is asphalt here, right? So that's gonna be a little bit tough to remove. So what we'll do is we'll do a um this is like a small X here. And then we can go ahead and do and uh, we can get rid of like stuff from because this is like the central point again. So we'll try and do like a small a small X shape just to see what we've got. Oh, there it is, right there. Nice. Found it straight away. What do we get? Oh, look at that. We got ourselves some SMG parts again. Stifer from stock. And we got another Fadium. Silver gold diamond. Oh, man. We're getting we're getting so many silver gold diamonds in here. Guys, we're going to make millions. 
We're going to make millions! Right, so we got that, and let's go and see. So the next one is over in the forest, so let's go ahead and head to that one now. So yeah, it's kind of like we're just doing a big loop. But you know, it's, it's one of those things. We'll do, we'll do like a big loop, and then we'll go and see if we can uh, sell some stuff to the trader as well. So we're really good. But yeah, let's go ahead and make our way over here. And uh, we are now back in the pine forest. But it looks like one's. It looks like one of them was like near water. Um, maybe one. Maybe one's actually in water. Oh wait, this is gonna be a hilly one, isn't it? This is gonna be a nightmare to get. This one I think is gonna be a nightmare, unless it flattens out over where this area is. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Um, you gonna flatten out? Are you gonna flatten out for me, or are you just gonna turn into more hills? Oh, uh, kind of flat. It's kind of flat, but it's like. Yeah, it could, it could be better. I'll get the feathers, though. Right, let's get rid of these trees. Because they will likely fall... They will likely fall on my face. Like, we'll get all the, rid of all the trees in the treasure area, because we don't want them falling. Especially not landing on me, because that would, you know, would kind of hurt. Um, I remember back in L14 when you could get killed by trees falling on me. I thought that was really funny, but yeah, it's not a thing anymore, luckily. Um, so, mini bike storage. Cause is there anything else I can just like put away in here that I don't really need? Like, I can probably stack like any of the full guns. And maybe like the rocket launcher, like any full guns and parts of guns we can stack in there. Alright. Oh, hello. It's a putrid girl. Now I've gone and smashed you in the face, putrid girl. Lots of zombies coming my way now, putrid girl. Wait, you're not a putrid girl, you like putrid girl. You're a farmer, give me lots of seeds, putrid girl. Iron hoe and repair kits as well, putrid girl. There's another not a future girl, future girl. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we had oil, I think, actually. Uh, right, so is there any more? Oh, stub, 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 stub. Inside the sub, we're going to find a jar. And you can die. Stub, 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 stub. Inside the sub, we're going to find nothing. Because nothing is the best kind of loot in the world. Right, so let's go and see what we have here. So where's the treasure? Treasure's over here. Right. So it's not the, so yeah, screw, screw no subs then. Yeah, it's not, it's not them guys. We're gonna go we're gonna go over here. So let's go ahead and line north with the thing. Right, back, back up, back, back. Right here. Here? Here? Yeah. This way. This way. Uh this way. Okay. So this is the point where we have to dig from. But at least, at least this time we don't have to compete with. At least we don't have to like complete, uh, compete, complete, compete with like asphalt and stuff this time, which is a good thing. Now, I'm not sure where this one's going to be because like, I'm not sure like when it spawns on hills how it chooses the height at which the thing spawns. I don't know if it's like one block down or if it's like if it does, like, doesn't care and it kind of because like from here as you can see it's another block down. So what I tend to do is to, like try and dig it the same amount downwards. Okay, so it's, yeah, so this is like here. So we're gonna go ahead and dig back this way. Man, I'd love to have a, um, I'd love to have a faster, faster shovel would be good. Maybe I should make the factory grade tools do a little bit faster. But then again, they would do more block damage anyway. So I don't, I don't know if that would actually make much difference. I mean, it would be cool, but there you go. So we level up, and we're now at 82, and have 72 skill points to spend. No, we've got so many skill points to spend, guys. Honestly, it's ridiculous. There we go. Right. So that's, uh, that's that bit done there. And let's go ahead. let's go back and then we're gonna do the same with the same with the east west line. So yeah, the, these ones are gonna take a little bit longer, I think, because like they're on hills, right? So not much we can do there. Okay. Okay, right, let's gotta get that out of the way. Okay, so there is a big rock there we gotta watch out for. But here we go, we are now pretty much aligned with this one. Okay, so this is the same depth, so it should be around this area somewhere. So let's go ahead and dig this out. Right, so now we got that. Let's go ahead and just dig out these bits. We might find it like in the center here. If we're, if we're lucky, we'll find it quite quickly. Uh, if we're lucky. But that's that reminds me of being lucky. We were lucky! We found it! Yay! There we go. Uh, oh, there we go. 177 more shotgun shells. So we're finding loads of shotgun shells, which is great. Um, I don't really know if I want all this dirt, though. Like, I mean, let's get rid of some of it, because we are like getting full on that. All right, there we go. <laughs> we're getting full on that! Uh, can I... Can I just, yeah, let's just drop these logs. I mean, I really don't need the logs. I, I'd rather keep the regular wood, but not the logs. That's fine. Um, there you go. So that's that treasure all done. So there is, the I think that's the fourth one we've done, isn't it? So the fifth one is the other side of the trader. So I'll tell you what, let's go to, let's go to the traders first. I don't know if this was the one that was closed. Um, I know one of them was kind of, was kind of like turfing me out. But let's go to the traders and we'll go to, we'll go from there. Because we can, we can probably uh, sell the stuff we got and see if we can actually buy we get to see if we can buy any more stuff as well. Um, so I think that's what I want to do. So let's go ahead and make our way over here. 
So... Let's go ahead and make our way straight along here. And... Oh, there's an airdrop over here as well. Okay, hang on. Let's go for this airdrop. I didn't realise there was one here. We missed an airdrop? God damn. Well, let's go and get it. There it is. Airdrop. What do we have? Airdrop has given us... Yay, no fragments, a sniper, a sniper barrel, and some painkillers. Okay, well we got some no fragments, so that means we can craft like a class if we wanted to, uh, which might be an idea, but... Let's see, right, hang on a sec, right, we got we got this dude here. Oi! Get out of it. Nice, okay, so he's down. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, oh, oh. I was like, yeah, 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 just, just, just know, just know, this is, this, this is my, this is my territory now, like, you do not come growling at me. Like, no, no you don't, right. Right, so let's go ahead and make our way over here. Okay, so drop here. Right, so hopefully we're not going to get turfed out this trader. Hopefully. Do we get turfed out? We do not. Hooray! Let's go and sell some stuff. Mr. Trader! Hey, asshole. You better not bring any diseases into my store. But why not? That's half the fun. Right, let's go ahead and sell him what we can. So I think I'll sell the, the least valuable stuff first. So the silver, because that sells like 260... 260 something each. So I'll send them that. And Bath is going up. Yay! There we go, so we'll send that lot, then we'll sell him the gold. There we go, then we'll sell him... Okay, he doesn't buy the raw copper, well, screw you then. Sell him all the money. I'll just sell it together, because it doesn't give me that much. Um, we could sell the diamonds, yeah, I think we should. There we go, so we'll sell him the diamonds, and then we'll sell him the raw thadium. There we go, we'll sell him that. Um, and that looks pretty good, so we can get rid of all that and give him... Actually, that, I'll give him that sniper scope, I don't really need it. Um, and we now make uh, 50k worth of stuff, that is awesome. So, in terms of stuff and things... Now, one thing I wanted to do was buy forged steel, that was one thing I wanted to get. Because that allowed me to make more grinders and things, um, and steel is something that we can't really get uh, too commonly. So I thought we may as well just buy some, you know. Um, Set me back like 10k, so we got a load of steel now. Let's see what else he actually has on him. He's got Reva. <laughs> That could be useful for building our own place, but pretty soon we'll be able to pretty soon we'll be able to make our own and Reva already comes like one type of shape anyway. So that's a thing. Um let me see. So we can do uh there's concrete mix in here, but there's only three ten of it. Do I really want to get that? I mean yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll get it. it. It's it's worth getting something now. Um and there is a leg cast. That is expensive though. Yeah, it's, that's that's not worth it. Like leg cast is really expensive. So silver. Oh, um I wonder if actually, does he have auger parts on him? That'd be good if he does. Let's go and check his secret stash. Um, he's got a workbench on him, but he has a forge. Actually, yeah, I'll, buy I'll start buying forges because yeah, buying forges is a good thing because um, they are very, they're very, very handy to have, and they're like given that you have to go through the fire pit to make them. Sometimes they it's a little bit better just to buy stuff outright. Let's get some more of those low grade rounds as well. Uh, yeah, low grade 762s I think I'll get as well because we've got an AK um, and I kind of need the rounds. So you may as well go ahead and see uh, if we can get some more. There we go. So we got three five eight. Uh, we can't buy those. Can we buy two hundred? Yep. We can buy 100. Yep, we can. There we go. So we now have a load of those uh, low-grade ones, and that looks good. There we go. So that's better. That looks pretty good. Um, okay, I don't want that. Let's go ahead and drop this. The plant fibers. Can I just sell you the feathers? There we go. You can, you can have those. Drop those, and I think I'll drop... Hang on, I can save these. There we go. Drop that. And drop that. I just want to like get rid of the unnecessary stuff that I really don't need. Yeah, you can, you can have that for free. No, I don't, I don't need it. Uh, pain pills. Uh, they actually sell for like 90 each. So, why not? All that damn gawking at goods and that's all you buy? Yep, all that damn gawking at goods and that is all I buy. So screw you, Mr. Trader. Right, so next treasure then. Uh, next one is going to be over here. Now, it looks like this one may be in a body of water. Let's have it. Let's have it. We, 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 may have to swim, we may have to swim for this one. Um, it looks... The, the chance of swimming is looking higher and higher by the second. But that's okay. If we, if we have to swim for it, we have to swim for it. I don't mind that. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like we got to swim for this one. That's alright. We can do that. All right. So we have uh, we have some more zobbles coming. But yeah, it looks like uh, looks like a swim for this one is in order. Let's see. Can I see it from here? Like it looks like it could be pretty close um, to here. So let's go ahead and make our way along here. See if I can just kind of spot it. It's uh, luckily this, this pool is actually not too deep, so that's good. So it doesn't mean that we have to like the one the one problem with some uh, treasure spots is like where the pool is so deep, you kind of have to. Is that over there? I don't know. But yeah, where the, where the pool is so deep sometimes, you kind of have to, like, almost drown yourself in order to get the treasure. Yeah, let's see. How close are we? Wait a minute. 
We're about Sawi now. Uh, oh no, it's actually quite, it's actually quite far. All right. So yeah, a bit of a swim. I'll tell you what, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and keep swimming until I get to the treasure. Uh, once I'm at the treasure, then I will come back and we can see what we find inside. So bear with me, guys, and I'll be back in just a sec. Alrighty, guys, we are back, and here is the next treasure. Let's go and see what is inside this thing before we drown. Let's have a look. So inside here. What do we have? We have in here um, a rocket launcher stock. We have more 762s and loads of 9mm rounds. So that was a very easy trader to find. Oh man, okay, let's get back up out of this water. Oh, okay, so yeah, unfortunately I kind of approached this. Uh, I could approach this completely the wrong angle because I kind of like swam across half the pool, um, which is kind of a bit silly. Actually, you know what? I may as well just make my way out here um, and then run around because it'll probably, knowing me, it'll probably be quicker just to like run around um, rather than go like the other way um so let's just try and i'm just gonna try and get to the edge here and then we can get out of fix my character's like freezing to death right now so that's not good there we go we can kind of like just like bob along here and then we can kind of i guess uh, make our way out here here we go and we should get out of the water now there we go right route hooray now i can just run along here there's even like a it looks like there's even like a tiny little uh it's like a tiny little island or something there is there a zombie after me somewhere yeah there is but you know you know what you know it's a zombie no, screw you screw you. you can you can just you can just you can just stay there, wondering what, it'll, what wondering what it'll be like to eat my brain, but you'll never know. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way back to. We'll go and make our way back to Gloria, uh, who is around. Uh, where is actually? Speaking of that, where is Gloria? She's like she's around the bank somewhere. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to Gloria, and I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can make our way to the next one. Uh, well, Gloria is probably just like. I think Gloria's around here somewhere. Like this is this pond was like such a long pond. Like it was it was much bigger than I thought. I was like, yeah, it's gonna be on this side, and it was like completely the other side. I should have gone the other way. But yeah, I, I believe we may have lost Gloria because the marker. I hate it that the marker disappears if you move too far away. It's kind of a it's kind of a shame, but it is okay. Let's go ahead and just make our way down here, and hopefully we shall find Gloria one more time, just waiting for us over here on the bank. Okay, um, I think I hear I think I heard a zombie running past me or something more. Or something, but I'm not too sure. Let's go ahead and make our way back here. So, is Glo are, you, are you here, Gloria? Gloria, are you here, Gloria? Oh, I tell you, I tell you where, I tell you where Gloria will be. Gloria will be over this way because um, we kind of parked up over here, didn't we? That's where the trader is, but we definitely parked up more. So, there we go. Yeah, I see, I see the marker. I see the marker. So let's go ahead and run, run to Gloria, run to Gloria. There we go. So let's go over here and Gloria. Wherefore art thou, Gloria? Here we go. Right, so Gloria is over here. So let's go and uh, let's go and uh, ride Gloria one more time, and then I think we have one more. We have one more map to go after that. Oh, it's a stag rider, but can I do it? Okay. Ah, oh, I didn't make it bleed out. I was, I was I was hoping I was going to kill it. Okay, never mind. Fine. Well, I tried. Well, I I got I got a, I got a shot in his ass, so that's that's pretty good. So let's get out of here. Man, I, I should I should have tried to blow the stag. I should have tried to blow the stag with the rocket launcher. That was hilarious. It's like, ooh, there's a stag. This is how you hunt. <laughs> oh man, actually, I'm, you know what? I might have to try that at some point, just 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 for giggles. I think it'd be funny. Um, so like try to try to hunt an animal with a rocket launcher just to get some meat. Like completely wasting the ammo and everything, but still, it'll be it'll be hilarious. Anyway, let's go ahead and make our way over here. I think it's like a, a tiny piece of desert here, but like it's not a full desert. It's like literally a tiny piece. Of, yeah, it is. Look at that! That's like that's the that's the smallest, cutest desert biome I've ever seen. It's like a really tiny one. That's so cute! It's really small. That's amazing! It's like it's just like a tiny desert. That is awesome. Now there is another town over here. Um, I wonder what we can find over in this town. Um, you guys said I should like look for stores and stuff, and I think you're right because like I was looking for grocery bags, like the honey stuff. Um, now I know we've already completed the but we've already got the other upgrade kits available, but we I still wanted to complete the bun in the other quest just because you know it is a quest and it would be nice to it would be nice to finish it. But uh, let me see what is up here. Is this just like a completely residential town? This one looks like a completely residential one. No real, uh, no real good stuff here. There's like, there's like a poopy pants DK here, but that's about it. Like, other than that, um, yeah, it doesn't look like as much. Okay, all right. So, the, yeah, I, th I thought we'd have a little look on this town here just to see what's there, but doesn't look like there's too much. Cause, oh wait, no, there's, there is some. There's like industrial bits over here. It looks like there's, there's a couple more houses, but then it kind of gets into some. So there's a radio tower kind of thing there. There's a power plant here. What's down here? Is it getting? I don't know. It looks like it's more industrial. There's a junkyard here. Okay, and then there's like a, a bit of a commercial area over that way. Let's have a little look. I just want to have a little look before we go ahead and dig the last area. Just kind of uncover, uncover more of the map. Oh, there is. Uh, oh, there is one of these water plants here. We haven't done one of these in a while. 
Um, and these ones are, these ones are, I'll oh, tell you what, I tell you what, we're going to use this place, uh, we're going to use this place on Horde Knight, we're going to, we're, we're going to defend here on day 21, and we're going to use, uh, we're going to use guns here, and we're going to, we're not even going to do up this place, we're just going to pick this place, we're going to get inside it, and we're going to defend it on day 21, that is, that is why, that is what I think we should do, because that's going to be fun, um, I haven't fought in there since Alpha 14 as well, so that's going to be super fun, trying to, try and defend that place, and I'll make it so that I don't, um, I'll make it so that I won't go ahead and, like, add any extra defences to it, because I think that is going to be super fun, so yeah, I found my place where I want to go and fight the Day 21 Horde, because that's going to be, I think that's going to be awesome, like, I'll loot it obviously in an episode, but then we'll actually get it set up. Um, I'll take like some shotguns and rounds and stuff. I think like some close quarter stuff, like a shotgun and an AK, is going to be some some pretty good uh, some pretty good things that we can invest into. I think we should probably do that. Like the shotgun is just going to destroy everything. I mean, I still haven't adjusted the damage on it yet properly. I know you guys are just like, please don't adjust the damage. It's so like overpowered and epic as it is. But I do want to balance it out a little bit because otherwise everyone's just going to use shotgun to one shot everything. And yeah, it's, it 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 doesn't work. Like I kind of want to do it so that we have. The low grade rounds need to do a lot less. The middle grade rounds need to do a lot less, and the high grade rounds need to do about half as much, I think. Because yeah, currently it's just like, currently it's just like way too OP as well. Especially if you get like headshots, it's just it's just too strong. But that's that is just my opinion. But I think it is way too strong. But that's okay. Uh, ooh, okay, let's go ahead and make our way here. So what we're gonna do then is let's go ahead and make our way down this way, and hopefully we will find where the treasure is. Here we go. Right, so there is treasure over here. Coming back to the plains vibe. It's just a shame that none of the treasures were in the desert, because that's kind of sucky, but... Get this guy down. There we go. You're out. And this up there is... Yeah, some, like, houses and stores over here. Uh, business. Hey! There we go. Oh, I got some seeds as well. Come here, you. You looking at me funny. Right, let's go ahead and make our way back here. So, and as you can see, our factory tools are, like, lasting a really long time as well. Like, the, these things are amazing. They just they just last. They just last and last. Right, uh, let's go ahead and come this way. Uh, right. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Ah, you're over here. I knew, I knew I had someone coming. Try to hide treasure. Go away. Go away. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to loot you. I, I'm just going to disrespect him. I'm going to I'm gonna kill him, but not even loot his corpse. So it's just like, that, that, that's how you show, that is how you show zombies disrespect. Kill him and don't loot them. They hate it. Okay, hang on. Uh, we need to go ahead and get rid of, do I have my pickaxe on me? Wait. Wait, pickaxe? Do I, do I not have it? Oh god. Please tell me I did not. Please tell me I did not sell my factory grade pickaxe. Hang on. Did I put it in here? Did I put it in here? Um, come on. I must have. Can I bring it? Oh no. Hang on. Where'd it go? No. I, I swear. I swear I had that. I swear I had a pickaxe. Hang on. Let me just double check that it's not any of these. Oh no 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 no. Seriously. Oh. Okay. Okay. No. Scare. Scare over. Scare over. Oh. I thought. I thought I lost it. I thought I lost it. Honestly. Whew. Okay. Um. The factory grade pickaxe though, like, does 240. Actually, I should um, I should do three swings on that because it'll get me more. It'll get me more stone. There we go. So I'll do a few of those. Um, yeah, let's actually get these out of the way because this is like this will get me like some spare resources as well that I can put through a grinder. So that'd be a good thing. All right. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually destroying these rocks. This is right. This is really good. So. Plus this, uh, this steel pickaxe is like, it's really good. Like, I've only got mining tools like four, and it's pretty good. I'm now level 83 and have 78 skill points to spend. That's awesome. Right, so let's go and align to the north here. Align to the north. To the north. Right. There we go. And we should be, we should actually get some clay from this one as well, which is kind of, kind of handy. Uh. Um, right. Now we can dig along here. Right, so this should be hopefully the last one of the bunch that we can dig out. Um, and it looks like, oh, hang on, is that it there? Did we find it? We found it straight away! Yes! There you go, and we got some more low-grade rounds, some more Nightmare rounds, and some more AK and rocket launcher pieces. Nice! Okay, so these treasure maps have been pretty damn good, because we're finding, like, we've found, like, all kinds of stuff here. All right, so let's go ahead and head back onto the red. That was overall a pretty good treasure hunting session, if I do say so. If I do say so myself, if they don't like to blow me on trumpet, of course. But uh, yes, I, I thought that was uh, was uh, rather grand. Now, if this map would just, it would only just open for me, like seriously. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and make our way on here. Uh, I don't think there's any other towns between. Okay, our one is up, actually up here. So actually, we, no, we did travel pretty far. Um, I don't really think we'd travel that far. Yeah, we, we've got like we pretty much though gone full circle. So. I think, guys, what we're going to do 
is we are at a pretty good point now to go ahead and end off the episode. So we got the treasures, uh, got the treasure stuff done. I think in the next episode we're going to go back to that town and clear out that, uh, clear out like the, the water plant over there, um, and kind of get that ready to be our base because I think. We don't have to clear out any gates, we just have to like, clear out all the zombies there, um, and that's going to be pretty good. Because I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to trying that. Because, I mean, I, as I said, I haven't defended in that place since Alpha 14, and it might be nice just to try... Um... Actually, I want you guys to know what you what you think. Should I build like a base... Um, I, want you, I, want, I want you guys to know what you think. Should I do it so that I accept challenges, or should I do it that every week I try and defend in a different POI? Or should I do it that I build a base and try and like build up that base and defend in there? Or should I do like a mix of two or more of those things? I kind of, I kind of, I kind of interested to know what you guys think. So you know, maybe you think I should do challenges and defend only in POIs, or you guys think that I should do defending in POIs and defending in base, but no challenges this time. It's like I kind of want to know what you think because it's like. I, like, I, I remember now 14 our week of trials, and that was really, really cool. Um, although we can't do it in age 15 because of, you know, cha changes to, like, how the code works for horde spawning. But still, um, I want to kind of get, get an idea of what you guys think of that. But, like, at least for day 21, I think we defended twice in our own kind of construction, so it might be nice just to go ahead and defend where it's literally just the POI is given to us, um, and we just make the best of it, because I think that would be pretty good. So, yeah, I want to know what you guys think. Um, and just, you know, let me know in the comments and stuff what you what you think we should do, because I think that's going to be really good. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!